Welcome back, everybody. So we've pushed the highway out as far as we're going to go for now. And I am back here towards the end to work on the, I think I showed you in a couple episodes back, the uh, little river I want to build to make, to join, you know, I want to join this river here up with the ocean over there. Which means we need to go over here and start digging. So I'm going to have to dig all this out down to water level. We're actually a couple, more than a couple, a few below water level. And then we can finish this, uh, kind of make a canal river that joins up with the ocean. So I guess the only thing to do is to actually get started um, chopping down these trees and digging up this dirt. And you know that is best done in one of those time lapse things. So we'll do that and then I'll be back in a bit. Well, there wasn't quite as much digging as I thought I was going to need. And you can see that river connects us right all the way back up here to Ice Edge. And you can get over to Land's End over there. Which actually is much bigger than I anticipated it was going to be when I started. What I don't realize why, I don't understand why these people, why do these villagers insist on standing in the water? All of them do. Like these guys are just bobbing around in the water. And then over here, all of them are just dunking away in the water here. This is insane. There's probably no villagers in the village. Oh, look at this. They're all over here. What? What in the world were, were, were they thinking when they programmed these guys' brain? Their brain is programmed to get into the water? That doesn't make any sense. I even put this ledge here, trying to convince them to get out of the water. Because I thought maybe they needed an easier way out. Look at that, all of them are in here. How come you don't get out of the water? Someone, someone needs to explain this to me. Explain to me why all of these morons decide to get into the water. I mean, you can't even build a decent city. At least that guy is behaving himself. But you can't even build a decent city on the edge of the water because these idiots, or the people who program these idiots' brains, decided that they needed to stand in the water all the time. Oh, that really ticks me off. It's like, I don't want them in the water. And I keep pushing them out of the water, and they always go back into the water. That is such a pain in the ass. It irritate, really irritate. For some reason, that really irritates the hell out of me. I don't understand why. It's the stupidest thing. You just have to program them not to bob around in the water. Program them so they'll actually do their job and stay on land. They're not... You know, Aquaman, they shouldn't be in the water. Uh. I didn't know that bothered me so much. It just irritates the hell out of me. Probably because I spent a lot of time moving those people 
spend a lot of time moving them back out of the water onto land where they belong. And look, they just decided, oh, I'm not going to do it. I don't have to do it because I'm a moron. I just like to sit in the water and get all wet. Okay, let's stop anything from spawning there. Yeah, I'm just putting a small tower here. It's not even, a, I don't even think it's going to be accessible. It's just going to be a tower kind of to flag you that there is an opening right here. Let's see. Like that. There we go. A little bit of a lighthouse. You know, I've got a chicken in my boat. A chicken just he ran up and jumped in my boat. I mean, it is kind of into the cliff, but I probably should have pushed it back from the cliff a little bit. I guess I could just push the cliff back like this. There. But that should give a good enough marker to let people know that there's something over here. When they get over here, they will find that we have a nice river which takes us inland. This was actually pretty good. I didn't have to clear out hardly anything. I cleared, yeah, I'll clear out a little more through here. Just to widen that up a little bit. I really didn't need to uh, dig out much. I just had to dig out that little bit around the corner here. This almost looks natural going through there. Then we get all the way in here. Then you can stop at the end. Or you can take this path. Oh good, I can get through the... I want to make sure I had enough clearance. And this will take you over. You can even go over to Fort Sunflower area. I don't think this connects up over here though, does it? Ooh, a fox. So I'd have to go back around this other way to get over here. And that leads us to my other project, which is I want to put a sawmill. Well, I guess I could, if I want, I could actually dig out a little, I may do that too, dig out a little river here. So they all connect back and forth. But my main goal today, I, well, I'm probably not going to get it done today. What I want to do is get this all set up. Because I want to create a sawmill over here, back in this area. Yeah, so, so I'm going to connect this river here. What I'm going to add in are some springs coming from the hill over here. I'll have to build up a nice rocky area here with some springs coming out of it. And then they'll run down, they'll join up with this area over in here, this little pond. And then they'll continue on over this way to join up with this river. So like the springs are part of the river. So they'll flow out of there and just come from that area and then flow over into this area. And then I will put a sawmill right about here, I think. And I've got an idea for, you know, a big wheel. So that'd be the, the wheel will power the saws. And then we'll have all the saws and stuff over here. And then we'll have a simple little path which goes up and joins with our new road right over here. So we'll have a road that goes down from here into the sawmill over in that area. I guess I got to do a little bit more landscaping around here to get things into shape.
Boy, there are a lot of squid. Which way am I going? I'm going this way. If I can get my boat turned around, that squid got in my way. Like that. So we finished up what I'm calling Spruce Springs. If we go through here, I've opened up this waterway. And you can actually go all the way to the spring head. And these are the springs coming right out of the hill. The water comes right out of the hill here. There's probably an underground river or underground spring right there. And then it just joins in with the rest of the water. So it kind of looks more natural. I was trying to get a good flow of the water going through here because we're going to put our sawmill right here where that zombie is going. But that'll be uh, later on. We are done for today. Plus it is getting nighttime and I'm going to start to be... In your day, in your, in your day, I'm going to, I'm going to be overrun by uh, zombies. So I want to thank everybody for watching and I want to wish you all a great day and I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Which way am I going? Let's go here. Yeah, it's over here.